It's a training ground for young Australian workers, but unions question if they're getting their just desserts. A new federal court claim lodged against parent company McDonald's, joining nine other claims lodged against franchisees over paid breaks. When they were told, um, well, you can go to the toilet or get, get a drink and therefore um, you're not entitled to the paid 10 minute break, many young workers just accept that. Jonathan was 15 when he got his first job at McDonald's. Well, I mean, you really do trust your employer to, you know, uh, have your back and make sure that you're safe and everything else. He's one of 350 workers who are now taking McDonald's to court, asking for the multinational corporation to pay for the breaks they say they did not get. The union says it's one of the largest court actions of its kind in Australia. It has the potential to impact over 200,000 work workers and hopefully we'll see $100 million uh, back paid to workers who were deliberately denied paid drink breaks over the last six years. In a statement, McDonald's says it will defend the claim, stating that its restaurants complied with laws and provided rest breaks to employees. Jonathan hopes the case will help to raise awareness of worker entitlements. Well, I'm hoping they, uh, you know, they kind of just step up a little bit more. You know, they were pretty good to us at the start. They just need to let and inform people about their entitlements. A hearing date is yet to be set. Rebecca Putty, ABC News, Adelaide.